honored guests, fellow students, faculty, and staff. My name is Daniela Ramon. I will be serving as your MC for this memorable occasion. On behalf of the Vidal and Trevino student body, I would like to welcome you to the September 11th Patriot Day ceremony. Today, we will be honoring all of those who risk their lives in service of our country. In addition, we will pause and reflect for a minute on the events that occurred on September 11th, 2001. And now it is my distinct pleasure to introduce our BMT director, Martha, Dr. Martha E. Villarreal, for a few words. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you for being here with us uh, on such a special occasion. Uh, again, welcome to everybody to this special and solemn occasion. With a deep sense of patriotism and heartfelt respect, we gather today to remember the more than 3,000 people who lost their lives on September the 11th, uh, 2001, after hijacked planes crashed in New York, North Virginia, and Pennsylvania. We proudly remember also our heroes, our first responders, who so honorably sacrificed their lives in saving others. The victims were mothers, fathers, sisters, and brothers of many faiths and races representing more than 80 nations. Time is passing, but for our nation, there will be no forgetting September the 11th. We will remember every rescuer who died in honor. We will remember every family that, that, that lives with grief. We will forever remember the fire and ashes in a nation paralyzed in disbelief and pain. Yes, we will forever remember those days when every American was transfixed on those horrific scenes on our television sets and the deep and collective sense of profound loss and anger for the senseless and brutal attack on our American brothers and sisters around the world. Thank you. for the invocation by <laughs> Loving God of peace, on this anniversary of unbelievable sorrow, comfort those who mourn and guide our hearts towards healing and hope. <coughs> Remind us of the love of Christ, love which left over cultural and ethnic boundaries to feed the hungry Seek the lost and care for the least. Make of your children, no matter how we name you, one human family, bound together in the work of justice and peacemaking. May us one with the light that shines in the darkness and illuminates a path toward understanding and reconciliation. Let love be our genuine call. Amen. Please remain standing for the posting of colors by the J.W. Nixon High School Honor Guard under the direction of Sergeant Major Juan Hernandez, United States Army. The Star Spangled Banner performed by Ovation, the Ovation Brass Quartet, Quintet and the BMT Concert Choir.
please remain standing as Leslie Picasso leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would first like to introduce Laura Komen and Adel Ananis, who will help us observe First Responders Day by providing a description of the events of September 11, 2001, so that we will never forget those who lost their lives on this day. On the sunny morning of September 11, 2001, 19 terrorists working in teams of four or five hijacked four commercial jetliners and turned it towards targets chosen for destruction. Two of the planes, loaded with fuel and passengers, were flown at full speed into the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center in the financial district of New York City. The buildings burst into flame and then collapsed, killing thousands. A third terrorist crew smashed their plane into the Pentagon headquarters of the U.S. military in Arlington, Virginia. The hijackers of the fourth airliner apparently intended to hit another target in the Washington, D.C. area, but passengers on the plane realized what was happening and fought back. This airplane crashed in a field in rural Pennsylvania. The 19 men who carried out the hijackings chose to destroy targets that perfectly symbolized U.S. financial, political, and military power. Years in the planning, the attacks in New York and Washington constituted the first major foreign assault on the continental United States since 1814, when the British Army invaded Washington, D.C. and burned the White House. More people were killed on U.S. soil on September 11 than on any day since the American Civil War. <coughs> United States citizens feeling their country under attack rallied behind their leaders in a display of national unity, patriotism, and generosity unseen in decades. The country celebrated anew the values of courage and heroism, exemplified by the New York firefighters and rescue workers who unhesitatingly rushed into the World Trade Center towers to save as many people as possible. Thank you. At this time, I would like to thank Fire Chief Landon and the members of the Laredo Fire Department for representing the 343 firefighters and paramedics killed in the attacks on the Twin Towers with their presence here today. In memory of the victims and heroes of the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks against the United States, President Bush proclaimed that 9-11 will be observed as Patriot Day. Kevin Gonzalez will now read the proclamation. Patriot Day 2002, by the President of the United States of America, a proclamation. On this first observance of Patriot Day, we remember and honor those who perished in the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001. We will not forget the events of that terrible morning, nor will we forget how Americans responded in New York City, at the Pentagon, and in the skies over Pennsylvania, with heroism and selflessness, with compassion and courage, and with prayer and hope. We will always remember our collective obligation to ensure that justice is done, that freedom prevails, and to the principles upon which our nation was founded and endured. Inspired by the heroic sacrifices of our firefighters, rescue and law enforcement officials, military service members, and other citizens, our nation found unity, focus, and strength. We found healing in the national outpouring of compassion for those lost, as tens of millions of Americans participated in moments of silence candlelight vigils, and religious services. From the tragedy of September 11 emerged a stronger nation, 
renewed by a spirit of national pride and a true love of country. We are people dedicated to the triumph of freedom and democracy over evil and tyranny. The heroic stories of the first responders who gave their all to save our others strengthen our resolve. And our armed forces have pursued the war against terrorism in Afghanistan and elsewhere with valor and skill. Together with our, our coalition partners, they have achieved success. Americans have also fought back against terror by choosing to overcome evil with good, by loving their neighbors as they would like to be loved. Countless citizens have answered the call to help others. They have contributed to relief efforts, improved homeland security in their communities, and volunteer their time to aid those in need. This spirit of service continues to grow as thousands have joined the newly established USA Freedom Corps, committing themselves to changing America one heart at a time through the momentum of millions of acts of decency and kindness. Those whom we lost last September 11 will forever hold a cherished place in our hearts and in the history of our nation. As we mark the first anniversary of the tragic day, we remember their sacrifice and we commit ourselves to honoring their memory by pursuing peace and justice in the world and security at home. By a joint resolution approved December 18, 2001, Public Law 107-89, the Congress has authorized and requested the President to designate September 11 of each year as Patriot Day. Now, therefore, I, George W. Bush, President of the United States of America, do hereby proclaim September 11, 2002, as Patriot Day. I call upon the people of the United States to observe this day with appropriate ceremonies and activities, including remembrance services and candlelight vigils. I also call upon the governors of the United States and the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, as well as appropriate officials of all units of government, to direct that the flag be flown at half staff on Patriot Day. Further, I encourage all Americans to display the flag at half staff from their homes on that day to observe a moment of silence beginning at 8.46 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Or another appropriate commemorative time to honor the innocent victims who lost their lives as a result of the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001. In witness whereof, I, he I have hereon to set my hand at this fourth day of September in the year of our Lord 2002 and of the independence of the United States of America, the 227th, George W. Bush. Now it gives me great honor to introduce our guest speaker, Raymond E. Garner, who generously dedicated his time to join us in our commemoration of Patriot Day. Apologize, the boss called me, so I had to run out there real quick. Uh, I'd like to thank the doctor and the program and everybody here today for honoring the first responders. Uh, in our country, they're called police officers and firefighters. But we also have a lot of assistance in country from the military. And uh, out of country, they're the first responders. And it's important that you and your generation is that you remember history. I know some of you probably dread going to history uh, class. I didn't like it until I come to realize that by honoring what we uh, people did before, we can prevent that from happening again. We don't need another 911. We're a strong nation. Maybe we did something wrong. Maybe we didn't read the right signals that uh, were being brought out by the FBI and some other organizations. But we've changed. And we've changed a lot in, in, like, because we look at the history of what has happened. A lot of good people died, not only Americans, but there was a lot of foreigners who died in, in the Twin Towers. And we in law enforcement, we as police officers and firefighters, the veterans, they appreciate your generation because you remember us. You know what we do. Yes, in law enforcement, we've gone some, through some bad times here of late, but we will overcome that. And I do want to take my hat off to your generation 
seems like y'all are going to be leading this nation in the right direction. <clears throat> and I applaud you, and at the same time, I say thank you for honoring us. Thank you, Mr. Garner, for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us today. Your presence here today means a great deal to us. And now, in memoriam to those who perished during the September 11th attacks, we will observe a moment of silence followed by the ten, ten chime rings, one for every 300 people who lost their lives during the attacks, followed by taps played by Mario Valle and Anthony Hernandez.
thank everybody, but before we leave, I just want to thank our military men and women who serve our great nation and who do so much to protect us. We stand proudly on the shoulders of so many men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice and paid with their lives. I want to recognize our veterans who are here with us. Will you please stand up and have a kiss? Give the round of applause. I also at this time want to thank our special guests. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. We are so proud of what you do. Um, for our nation and certainly for our community. You certainly are great role models for our students. Thank you again and come back and visit anytime. VMT is your home. Thank you again.